So guys, as I do, I'm always scouring the auctions to see if I can pick up a good deal. And on this day, I was bidding, oh, so annoying, this bonus time thing. Anyway, I found a car that I was really interested in, so I thought I'll give it a go. And this is me trying to win that bid, but I've learned from past mistakes and I stuck to my guns and I thought it was too much, so I let it go. Another day, I tried my luck and this happened. Oh my God. <laughs> so as you saw, I won the car, but they left me sweating for three days. Damn, son. Oh my God. Let go. We love the beamers, the bands, the Porsches. All of my fans are not a support. In style, we're not in but look at us now. Whoever's supporting, I'm making you proud. Whoever's supporting, I'm making you proud. Salvage Nation, look at the squad. We love in the front line, look at the car. Look at the car. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a super exciting episode from Salvage Nation. I just showed you the excitement that you can have when you're in the salvage game and when you're in the auctions and the car that I just won. Ah, oh, I can't believe I got that kind of car at that price. You saw it all. It's delivery day today. I'm doing a bit of work on my M140 but I've just got a phone call. We've got a delivery. If this car checks out, I'm going to be over the boot. And to make sure that it checks out, uh, that's where today's sponsors come in. This episode is sponsored by Car Vertical. I use Car Vertical to check this car out. And guys, here's the report. And as you can see on the spotted activity, you can see it's a 2022 car. I was able to double check there was no outstanding finance and also confirmed it was not stolen in over 50 countries. But here's the important bit. You can see that the car was a category in write off and it also shows you where and what the damage was. It tells you a little bit more about the written off data. I even did a mileage history check and check it out. 11 miles is the last recorded mileage. And finally, as an added bonus, you can see in the checklist, there's no manufacturer recalls. But Car Vertical goes way deeper than all of that. Check out this report for a second car I was considering. You get all the information I listed before, but you also get to see the pictures of the damage. And these photos can help you to make an informed decision on whether this is a car that you want to invest your hard earned cash on or if you want to pass. This is all very valuable information when you're in the salvage game. And as I'm showing you here, you get to see the damage, which is written out, but you also get to see that visual cue. What I've seen, I could not be happier. Car Vertical is the way to make sure you're not taking L's and hopefully I don't take an L on this new build. So if you want to grab a history check from Car Vertical, click the link down below, use the discount code SN10, you get 10% off. And trust me, the more of you that click, the more you're going to get off in the future. So go down below, click the link, you know what to do, make sure you're not taking L's. With all of that out of the way, like I said, the car's on the way. So let's go outside, see what this car's saying. But before I do, I actually went down to get some parts earlier. So I'll show you how I got on with that. And by the time you're all caught up, we'll have the car outside. Let go! All right, you guys, so you're watching this in the future. I've preempted the parts that I needed for the mystery car. I can't believe and I can't wait to show you. You will see it soon, I promise. But I've come down to Rumford to a company called Sonono Parts. If you know what they do, then you'll have a clue as to what car it is. I'm gonna collect a ton of parts and then we're gonna go back. And by the time we get back, hopefully the car should be getting delivered. And this is what I like to do, like preempt what you need so that there's no wasting time. So I'm gonna head in there, grab some parts, and catch up with you lot once I got the bits. All right, you guys, so this is a bit annoying. Um, as with the salvage game, I made a phone call this morning. Hi, mate, have you got such and such and such and such for this car? Yes, I do, calm down. I've come all the way down. Everything is banking on this because the car is going to be delivered in about an hour or two. I've come all the way down and Sonono Parts, so I'm sorry mate, I thought I had um, what you asked for but I don't. And it's just, <laughs> yeah, very frustrating and this is, this is the salvage game man, like nothing ever goes to plan. I don't know what I'm going to do but we need to head back to the garage because the car is coming. So let me just show you the car. So shortly after I made it back to the garage, as you can see right here, my mystery car is pulling up and I promise you, you're gonna love it. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now you can see why I'm so gassed. Introducing my new Salvage Nation build, 
It's a 2022 BMW 218i and it's only got and it's only cost. Just wait for it. Alright you guys, so there you have it, the cat is out the bag, check it out, I picked up this 2022 BMW 218i for just £13,800, I'm gassed, now you see why I'm so happy, I'm told, and I've done my checks, thanks to Car Vertical, and I'm told that this car is worth anywhere between 25 to 30k, and Colpart wanted 16k, I won it for 10.4 and I stuck to my guns. Um, I really wanted it. I put it up on my Instagram so you guys would have seen. Um, I was thinking, oh, I really want it. So I, I upped it a little bit. I then offered them 10.8. They made me sweat for about two, three days. And then I got the notification whilst I was just browsing. Boom, got it. And let me show you around this car and you'll see just why I'm so excited. So with all the costs out of the way, let's go around the car and break it down and I'll show you why I'm so happy. As you can see on the front end, there's no damage. It's got a few scratches to the bumper on the lower side, but we can sort that without a problem. Just take a look at that bonnet. There's no damage there and the paintwork is immaculate. Coming around to this passenger side, as you can see, the wings and the doors, they've all sustained no damage. Paintwork is immaculate and I am happy with this side of the car. Now that trend continues to the rear of the car. There's no damage, paintwork is all good. And guys, tell me what you think of this car. It's not all smooth sailing. On the driver's side, both doors have sustained a nasty scratch right down the sides and that has followed through to the wing. This also reflects the report from Car Vertical. On the interior, there's no airbag damage and everything inside there is immaculate. And I'll show you everything on the interior in a little bit more detail later on. But check this out. This is where it gets really nasty. The complete suspension corner has been ripped out and everything here needs to be replaced. I had a look and these parts are not cheap. Now another key area where I got really lucky is this front driver LED headlight. It is not broken. Nothing is damaged in the engine bay. Everything looks brand spanking new barring a little bit of dust. And that is a full walk around of this 2022 BMW 218i. So guys, now that you've seen the exterior of the car, you've seen the brunt of the damage, you've seen everything that this car has to offer on the outside, let's go inside because this is where things get exciting. Now have a look, like I said earlier, the interior on this car is just so immaculate, so clean, and that's what you expect, it's practically a brand new car. Like whoever crashed this car must be really, really upset. But it's got the digital cockpit, virtual cockpit, whatever you want to call it, have a look at that, it looks amazing. This is the new touchscreen system. This is the latest BMW system. I don't even know what eye level this is. Um, it's just all very new. Have a look at all of that. It's got the internet. It's got everything. It's fully, fully loaded. Um, it's an automatic 218. It's got a turbo engine, so it should be very economical. And um, guys, come on, man. Like Once again, I have to go back to the price of this car. At winning this bid for 10,800 I was happy to pay those fees believe me happy 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 um, what I want to go ahead and do is I just like to double check if everything I need the key hold on so I needed this bad boy now that I've got the key the car starts however there's no brakes because as you can see that entire suspension corner over there is snapped and one of the things that is broken is the brake line um, however the car still starts and it's screaming at me, especially for the ABS and the traction. Once again, the ABS sensor is completely snapped off. However, have a look at that virtual cockpit. With that digital dash, it all integrates and it looks really, really smart, really, really nice. Engine sounds really, really healthy and thank God it comes with over a half tank of petrol. So I'm happy about that. Um, the engine light is on. I uh, will be checking that out on the diagnostic tool later on and we're going to see exactly what that is saying. The tire pressure is low obviously because the wheel is actually missing. Um, on these new cars you don't get any booklets, it's all on the computer. So as you can see you just press it and it's all on the computer right there. So I'm happy about that. 
what I was saying is I like to make sure that everything is all working. So windows, that one is working. Passenger side is working. Passenger side up. Window back up. Um, horn is all good. The headlights, I really want to see if the headlights are working because these headlights are an arm and a leg. Um, I will tell you about some of the parts. I've made a part list already, so I'll, I'll explain that to you. Um, the seats are half leather, half um, fabric but they are immaculate. It's a 2022 car. And guys, check this out. It's only covered 2,635 miles. Like, brand spanking new car. I am extremely happy with this buy. So everything in there is working. Um, let's go through, I wanna see. Press home. Get rid of all of these. Okay, home, oh, come on. Brake system is gone, close. It's really screaming, so. It's got DAB radio, Spotify, Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay. It's, it's got the works. Calm. Have a look at all of that. If I go back to home, navigation. And it actually has live photos. So yeah, I'm really happy with, with all of that. And that's something that I can go through off camera. It's got app control, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yep, that's what I want to see. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I've showed you the interior. There's not a lot more to see here. I'll go through that off camera Let me just head back out and give you a parts breakdown. So guys the first thing we need I will be changing the suspension strut. You can see it's got some damage right there um, You can see this ball joint has popped out of the wishbone. The wishbone doesn't look too badly damaged. However Once that is gone, it's gone. So I will be getting a new wishbone. This track rod arm, it looks okay But upon further inspection, you can see it's bent ever so slightly right there. I'm not gonna waste time with that I'll just get a new one of those as well. This is the suspension drop link um, Anti-roll bar link, whatever you want to call it. This is broken and this, this is the other half here So it's very important. I will be getting a replacement of that Another main thing that I've noticed if I zoom it in have a look that is part of the drive shaft The drive shaft is completely snapped out and that is why the car is not driving So in the next episode I should have a ton of parts and I will get straight to work with replacing these parts and hopefully this car can drive It's uh, 2022 cars, you know, it came with the logbook. Uh, I've got just the one key however, we should be able to once we get all the parts on I should be able to insure it tax it um, and literally take it for a first spin I don't know what this box is, is it some sort of air box or what is that I don't know what it is but um, once it comes time to strip it down I'll strip it down but this is completely broken I need to change that I was really concerned about the light but I can't see any damage really from just looking now but like I said once it comes time to stripping down the lights I'll see more underneath the bonnet everything is just a little bit dusty but everything just looks brand spanking new happy about that everything there's all good see what's hiding in here once again happy days you've got the um, the locking nut I hate when you get cars from the auction and it's missing that it causes a lot of headache under here there's nothing other than everything looking nice and clean nothing in there step back nothing else so close it down and that's pretty much it guys lovely little car brand spanking new car and there's not a lot more to show so guys there you have it we picked up a new build for the channel this car is actually going to someone in the family and i'm going to explain it all once the car is done but in the next episode it's all about getting these suspension parts i want to see this car driving i want to take it for a spin i want to see if it drives as nice as it looks so if you want to see how we get on with that subscribe to the channel this has been d i'm gonna head off so like i always say keep it moving and i'll see you in the next one in this episode we've got a ton of parts hopefully we can get this car driving i ended up getting a complete suspension strut wishbone drive shaft drop link basically complete suspension corner this all costs Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left, there's plenty in the playlist. And if you want to know more about the Salvage game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram if you want to get an inside scoop before YouTube.